What's up guys, it's PB for Press It UK and today's video is a step-by-step -step guide on how to press using Konex Banager Copper B-Press. So the best way to show you is to actually do it and you watch me do it. Now I've got a real job here, we've got these two copper pipes here, this is my hot and cold supply and I'm going to join onto these two copper pipes here along the wall in some clips. Now you do have to prepare the end of your pipe before you press. If you cut it with a hacksaw, it's going to catch the o-ring. If you're using the factory end of the pipe, which can be quite square and sharp, that could catch the o-ring. So it's better to cut it with a slice. You still need to prepare it though with a tool. So we've got a chamfer and reamer tool here. So what I'm going to do is prepare these two pipes. and give them a clean. Or well, if you've got one, these are good. So the first thing you do once you've prepped your pipe, offer your fitting on, and when it's on all the way, mark the pipe. And then you just check it that it's gone all the way in. Now at this stage, when you're checking it, some guys like to put an extra mark on the inside of the fitting because after you've pressed it, there's no way you would be able to make that mark. So that's the first one on. Offer that on. Mark it, check it. So that's our fittings on. Now we need to put the pipe in from the other side. So we're gonna prepare the ends of this pipe. Okay, so now we're ready to press. Konex fittings, B-Press, use a V-profile jaw, and this is a 15mm fitting. So to press this fitting, I need my V15 profile jaw. Now if we look on the inside of that, you can see we've got the channel there that sits our fitting in perfectly. So if I offer this in now, so that's our fitting located correctly inside the jaw. You see that the O-ring sits in that middle channel. Now Konex is a three point press system. So we press on the fitting, on the O-ring and on the pipe. Most of the press systems are two point press. I'll give you an example of that now. This is an M-profile press fitting. You see we've got the O-ring, but we've not got any copper after the O-ring. The downside to that is that O-ring can get damaged easily and also it only presses twice, once on the O-ring and once on the fitting. You can't press an M-profile fitting with a V-profile jaw. You need to get a specific jaw for the fitting you're using. So most important, check what fittings you're using and use the correct jaw. So the tool, make sure it's in line, inside the profile of the jaw, and then you just squeeze the trigger. pressed. Move on to the next one. Now we've got one pressed fitting and one that's not been pressed and they still look pretty similar so what some guys like to do is after they've pressed it make a further mark. So now we can identify easily that this one's been pressed and this one still needs to be pressed. If for some reason you forget to press this one and you fill it up, the Konex fitting has a leak identifier. So if we look inside the fitting, if we can see this, on the O-ring just there, and then on the opposite side there, there's a little indentation in that O-ring seal, and that will allow a slight bit of water to pass. So if we, if we put these pipes live now, 
this one would start to weep from the fitting, from the leak identifier. And if it does that, you don't have to take it all out again, drain it down or anything. You can just press it while there's water in the pipe, while it's live, and that will sort that out. And there we go. That's how easy it is.